What's up guys and welcome to another tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to use Vignetti in black bars. Um, it's really easy and I like how it looks a lot so I'm going to show you guys how I get it done. Um, so let's go ahead and hop on your composition. Um, so first thing I would do is add the Vignetti which is like the softness around the edges of the clip. Um, and to get that done what I do is just add a solid and then mask that solid and feather it. So let's go ahead and do that. Just go to layer, new, solid. I'm gonna name it Vignetti. Okay, and then once that's in there, you go ahead and select the layer and then go up here to the um, the masking tool. And if you don't see the ellipse tool um, already ready for you, just hold and click and hold down, and then you can pick the ellipse tool like that. And then once that's selected, um, you can double click and it'll create a circular mat, oh, ellipse type of mask on your um, solid that we created. So once you have the mask there, obviously you can tell this is not what we want it to look like. So you can just change the mask setting. So let's go in here, type M, um, and then change the um, type of mask to subtract. And then now I'm gonna double tap M so I can get more of the settings. There we go. And then you can see we've got expansion and feather and we're gonna mess with those. So I'm gonna expand it just a little bit and the feather I'm gonna bring up, let's say 250 should be good. Yeah, maybe a little more. And then I'm going to change the opacity. I'm gonna bring that down just a little bit. So you can already see what we're trying to get here. And that's pretty much it for the Vignetti. Um, next, we're gonna add the black bars, which is pretty much the same method, but it's um, different different types of masks. So let's go ahead and add another solid. Layer new solid, or you can hit Control Y, and then I'm gonna just call it bars. Okay, so we got another mask, another solid in there, and now we need to change our masking tool back to the rectangle tool, like that, and then zoom out a little bit because when we draw this mask, we want it to be really, really wide. And I'll show you that. Um, I'm gonna zoom out a little bit more. Now, that should be good. And then start from way over here and then drag across like that. Okay, let's just say that's about good. I'm gonna tap V to get my, what do you call this tool? The selection tool back so I can move this mask without changing it. Okay, and I kind of just eyeball where where it's even on both sides, which that sh should be all right there. And then change the um, mass type to subtract. So, okay, we've got, let's see what we've got so far. We've got the bars in the Vignetti, but the um, bars are static, meaning they're not moving right now. And I like dynamic black bars, so we're gonna, we're gonna mess with that a little bit. So let's go ahead and click on our bars layer, tap M, um, double tap M, excuse me. And then if you see this expansion tool right here, that's what we're gonna be using. We're gonna be keyframing. So go ahead and go to the beginning of the timeline, hit the um, mask expansion keyframe, and then let's bring that up to just off this, no, just on, should be fine. And then I'm going to go down the timeline a little bit, and then I'm gonna jump the expansion down to about there. So watch, let's watch this. So we've got it, the mass expansion, I mean the black bar is coming in, but I want it, to, it looks kind of weird for it to snap and just stop right there. So I'm going to go a little bit further down the timeline and bring the expansion down even lower and then scoot this all the way across to the end of the composition. And now let's take a look. That's a little bit better. I'm going to bring that down a little bit more, okay. And we've got dynamic black bars of the Vignetti. And that's pretty much it. You can kind of play with it however you however you please and um, use it to your liking. Um, it's really, really easy and usually pretty fundamental to put on every project. But, I mean, that's up to you. So, <laughs> But anyway, that's really all I have, have for you guys today. So I'll leave a like if you enjoyed and subscribe if you want to see more. Thanks, and I'll catch you next time.